What's up? I'm going to show you how to make this simple mortar, mortar okay? So it's going to be very simple and easy. So yeah, I hope this video is not too long, okay? I'm going to make a new one now. I'm going to save, okay. So here we are with the power of the default cube. And we're not going to use the default cube. So I'm going to delete that. And the camera, the light, I'm just going to hide. I'm going to use that later. So I'm press one. Oh, I can bring my screen case key on. Okay, can you see what I'm typing here? So if you can, okay, then follow it. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna start with making the body. Uh, I'm gonna use a circle. Right, so I'm gonna turn the snapping tool on. Edit mode, press tab, E to the Z. Right, E to the Z. Scale. What the size is actually up to you. In this, I'm just gonna. It. This one, oop, e to the scale. Oop, I'm gonna turn this off first because we're not gonna need that anymore. Right, that tick would do. E to the z. Don't worry about that one. We can fix that. Scale. Okay, enable the X-ray, X-ray tool on. Or if you want, you can use this one as well. One, G to Z. Don't need to go super deep or something. Just something like that. Scale. Press F to fill. And there it is. Basic shape. But we need to fix a few stuff here because we're going to add the subdivision surface on it. So I'm going to use the subdivision surface now. There we go. I'm gonna up to three because that's what we're gonna use. So as you can see, it's not very pretty. So let's fix it. Okay, so I'm gonna press I to insert. Alright, there we go. I to insert again. So why I do that inserting to make them smaller and smaller? Uh to cover something like this one okay we don't want that kind of detail there okay so that's why i make it smaller it's not perfect but it's very barely visible just make them smaller okay so i again to insert okay i again oh i again to insert and there it is then i'm gonna this one oh scale add another loop cut and this one over here see there's some few shapes it's not the same like the one that i did before but i'm pretty sure that you 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 can find in something that i like okay oh, i think i don't need that loop cut over there so control x just like that maybe i can just use this one and Go to item and up to increase. Just to make them sharper, but not too sharp. Right, so once we're done with this. Oh, can I use this one again? Bring it up a little bit. Oh. Look at the. Or you can just use the mean increase. Right, just like that. And this one as well. Up to me increase. Alright, so no need to be super perfect like that. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Maybe add another one. Look at. Make him. Well, this has some little bit of shape. If you want, let's try add here. Yeah, that would do. That's gonna be too many faces i believe all right so once you're satisfied with this you don't need to add anything or whatever apply the subdivision surface and shade smooth it should go something like that very nice and clean okay with a lot of face there and now let's make the uh i don't know what it uh, i don't know what it calls maybe the hammer Something like that. So we're going to use the circle. Bring it up. 
and scale it a little bit, make it smaller. All right, now I'm gonna go to edit mode, E to the Z, scale them down. Okay, for this one, you can actually use a, you can use a cylinder if you want. Okay, F to fill because the method is actually quite the same. F to fill. There we go. And then I'm gonna control B, select both of them. Control B, make them smooth. And roll. There we go. Add a few more cuts. It's a smaller scale shift that smaller like that. Yeah, that would do. Okay. So it's smooth, but I'm I want it to be even smoother. Right, so I think one would do because I add uh, the extra loop cuts. Let's make it smaller again. Insert, insert, just make them smaller. Same at the bottom. Let's just hide this one first. All right, there we go. Like this one. I to insert if you want, bring them down. Just a little bit to add some uh, rounded shape. So just like that. Okay. And once you're satisfied, apply. Just a brief end surface by pressing apply, or you can just press Control A. But make sure your cursor is over here. Okay. And shade smooth. There we go. Very nice. Yes. Let's bring this back. Okay. Let's see the face. Not quite. Not bad. How about this one? Hmm, yeah, so so. All right, so now go to shading. So, to make the material for this, let's start with this one first. Make new one. Uh, I'm gonna use the color ramp. Where's that color ramp there? Converter color ramp. Okay, color to the oh, let me zoom over. Oh, okay, let me zoom that out. Color to the base color. Okay, I hope I'm not too fast, guys. Maybe I'm too fast because I'm overexcited. Okay, and uh, let's add a texture. Okay, so how I made this? Actually, I used the noise texture. Fact to the fact. Okay, and it goes something like that. All right, and for this one, the scale, detail, and the roughness, adjust it until you find some until you find uh, until you found something that you're liking. Okay, so I'm gonna found I'm gonna figure it out till I got something my liking. Up to scale, detail, I'm gonna go to, it's too much, the roughness gonna be to one, detail, like that. Yeah, quite the same. I mean, not quite the same. <laughs> All right, here we go. Just like that. So now let's bring the black even more. Back to the color ramp. Bring the black there. So okay. If you want another color, maybe a few yellows, you can add a few colors, okay? And now it's just a color. Let's add some bump on it, okay? We're gonna use the normal over here. Okay. Shift A to add a bump from the vector bump. Normal to the normal. Alright, so if you want to reuse this and connect this to the bump, it's okay. But I'm so it's up to you, okay? So I'm gonna but I'm gonna use a new one. Texture and still noise texture. It's way too easy if you just use noise texture. See? Looks like that. Very ugly. Because we're gonna need to decrease the strength. But first, this one. Up the scale. That's way too much, but that's fine. Detail. Kind of rocky shape there. And the roughness. Just like that. For the distortion, uh, I don't think you need to mess with it. Or once you're done with this, mess with the strength now. Decrease the strength. And find it 
Find it something. Maybe like that. That's way too much. Just a little bit. Still way too much. That's bad. Mm -hmm, that would do. Maybe it's point two five zero. Or you can adjust it. Something that you're liking, okay? So, for this, let's go to here. Instead of, I mean, I mean, doing it again, like this one, copy paste all this one. You can just select this one, select here, and choose the material that you made before, which is, I think, it's this one. Yep, it's that, it's that one. So, yeah, look at that. Very cool, right? So that's how you make a simple model. Okay, now this is an extra. We're done with this. We're not gonna mess this one anymore. Let's go to layout. Shift A to add a plane. Oh, and scale. Where's the light? There you go. Okay, I'm gonna go to here. And this one. E to the Z. Oh, bring it up even more. Oh, wait. G to the Z. Take that one, control B. Okay, and shade smooth that one. And then I'm gonna go to here. There we go. Oh <laughs> I don't look weird shape, hey. So I'm gonna decrease the shadow and the radi up the radius to uh to make the shadow a little bit smoother. That kind of looks smooth. If you don't want shadow, then just take this one. The shadow is gone. If you don't want the shadow, okay. So shift it. I'm gonna add again. Add the here. Is it why again? Add to the over there. Turn this off, and voila! There you go. There you go, guys. So very simple, right? So I hope this video is not too long, and yeah. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Now I'll be seeing you next time on the next tutorial. Alright now. Bye bye.